Hey everyone, it's Mojax back in the DJ City UK lab. A while back, I reviewed the Reloop tape, which I thought was a pretty cool concept, but they hadn't quite nailed the execution. Now we have the tape two, and it's an entirely different story. Let's get into it. Like its predecessor, the Tape 2 is a standalone recorder designed to plug into any spare output on your mixer or controller and record your DJ set. Like the first version, the construction is lightweight plastic and it's only just bigger than the size of a regular cassette tape, so it's super portable. Control is really simple with one button which takes care of powering on and recording. There are some big improvements this time around though, which I'll go through one by one. Firstly, the Tape 2 has an internal rechargeable battery. Reloop claims six hours of battery life, and in my testing, I've achieved that comfortably, even getting closer to seven hours in an overnight battery test. The older model, bizarrely, needed a power brick to use, making it a lot less portable than it should have been. The power input is now a standard five volt micro USB socket too, which means you can charge or power the Tape 2 from a regular USB power bank, or phone charger, or even the USB port on something like a CDJ. Effectively, in most DJ booths, you'll never ever need to worry about powering this thing. The next big improvement is the switch from a USB port, which you plug a thumb drive into, over to a micro SD card instead, and that slots fully into the device. There was nothing inherently wrong with using a USB stick, but it was rather ungainly having it hanging out of the side, and this is a far sleeker solution. It supports cards up to 128GB in size, which is a crazy amount of recording time. One note, I had some issues recording to WAV with an older, slow micro SD card. You'll definitely want to go for a modern Class 10 card, as I had zero issues after switching to one of those. Which brings us on to another upgrade. The first tape could only record to MP3, and the Tape 2 now offers lossless WAV file recording in 24-bit, 48kHz quality, as well as 320k MP3. The WAV recordings take up around about a gigabyte per hour, and split at around the two-hour mark. There is a slight gap between files if you record continuously beyond that, but it's only a second or so, which you can edit around in something like Audacity easily enough. Overall, the quality of recordings the Tape 2 makes is superb, with large micro SD cards being so affordable now, I didn't even mess with the MP3 option, but the WAV files I've recorded have all been immaculate. The fifth improvement is a huge one, the adjustable input level. On the older model, you were reliant on tweaking your mixer to keep levels in check, which is not always easy with some hardware or when playing with other DJs. Combined with the signal slash peak LED on the Tape 2, the input level dial makes it easy to keep things under control. Plus, the unit does have a fair bit of extra headroom thanks to the 24-bit format. At a gig I played in Ireland, the Tape 2 was hidden out of my view, and I didn't notice that I'd been peaking quite excessively throughout the set until the end. So I was delighted to find I was able to pull things back to 0dB in my audio editing software afterwards, and there was no noticeable distortion at all. Getting your recordings off of the Tape 2 is very easy. You can pop out the micro SD card and put that into your PC, or put the device into transfer mode, connect it to your computer with the USB cable, and it shows up as a storage device. Reloop provide a little software utility called Sync Tool, which ensures the time and date stamp on your recordings is correct. That's a nice touch. In terms of connections, there's a stereo line level input and an output which can be used as a through connection if you're short of outputs or to monitor your recording via headphones. Both of those utilize 3.5 mm jacks. The first tape had a switch to go to a phono level input, which I felt was fairly pointless. And the tape two replaces that with a mic input instead, which is also fairly pointless in my opinion. Whilst I'm sure some people will be able to make use of it, the truth is that for the same money as this device, you can buy a far more capable and flexible recorder like my Tascam DR40, which will do a much better job of field recording with both internal and external mics. That can also handle DJ mix recording too, of course, but for that one specific purpose, I've been choosing the Tape 2 to throw in my bag every time lately. The tiny size, long-lasting battery, great recording quality, and just plain old ease of use have made the new Tape an absolute winner for me. If you need a recorder that does tons of different stuff, there are other places to consider looking, but purely as a device for recording your DJ sets, it's very hard for me to find fault with the Tape 2. So there you go, my take on the Reloop Tape 2. As you've probably gathered by now, I'm quite a big fan of this device. When it comes to features and performance, this time around, Reloop have just nailed it. I've had it in my bag for months. I've recorded pretty much every set that I've done with it, and I've never been disappointed with the results. There's gonna be one big stumbling block for a lot of DJs, and that will be the price. Street price in the US is around about $180. Add on 20 bucks or so for a good size micro SD card, and we're knocking on the door of 200 bucks to record your sets. 
that's going to be a hard purchase to justify for a lot of DJs. So if you play on Serato DJ Pro, most of the time you've got internal recording for free, 200 bucks for this, that's quite a big ask. But if you say want to record entire nights with lots of different DJs, or if you play on different formats, like I do my 45 sets on vinyl, I play on media players a lot of the time, then this thing will be worth its weight in gold. There are some more advanced options available at this kind of price. Things like the new version of my Tascam, the DR40X. That's got four channels, it's got two built-in microphones. You can do a lot more with it. But there's so much to be said for the convenience and portability of the tape too. It fits in your pocket, the battery will easily last you a whole night's DJing, and you can run it off power banks or mains as well, and the quality you get is just great. And it's so simple to use, just maybe tweak the level slightly when you first plug it in, and just let it go, let it roll, and it does the job every time. So from my point of view, the cost is justified. I think if Reloop do insist on having this back, which I kind of hope they don't, then I will be buying one for myself, because I've found it to be invaluable. If you have other options for recording, maybe it's going to be harder to justify the purchase. But yeah, if you need something to record your sets that's dead simple, doesn't involve a computer, the Redoop Tape 2 is a superb choice. Thank you for watching today. Make sure you're subscribed and you hit that bell icon down below to get notified anytime there's a new video from myself or the rest of the DJ City team. I'll see you soon.